side of row number one. Zitz, the preferred air conditioning safety paint body number 83 of Jerry Pearson to Jerry's outside. Zitz, the auto insurance America.com number 11 of Jerry Dittman. Row number two on the inside, the DNN equipment fair picker trainator number 22, it's Dick Walters. The Knicks outside, Zitz, the Stevens Racing number 60 of Dave Stevens. Row number three on the inside, the day night towing number 23, it's Josh Morgan. To Josh's outside is the Blue Diamond Design Manufacturing Jesse Cousins number 18 of Barbara West. The next row back on the inside, the preferred air conditioning safety paint body double zero. It's wow, Wayne Pearson. To Wayne's outside is Jack of Diamonds, Las Vegas Roosters number 54X of Brett Empey. The next row back on the inside, in the blue aqua, aqua perfect, blue blue design and manufacturing number 96, it's Pete Meyer. And his outside pits the blue diamond design manufacturing Jesse Custom number 37 of Steve Borkowski. Row number six, down on the inside, is the Hell Hour Racing number 57 of Dean Hell Hour. And his outside sits the number 43 car. Not just shirts, ATR Speed Shop, Dave Hunter, number 43 of Kale Bronston. Row number seven on the inside. And DNN Equipment, Fair Picker Trainator number two, it's Casey Hellauer. And to her outside, sits the number 42 car. a a Real Estate Appraisal, Justin Griffiths behind the wheel. The lineup. Complete the car stacked, racked, and packed. The green flag set the wave. Coming out turn number four for the Bomber Division. Here they come. Let them hear you. This is always some of the most exciting racing we have at the Bullring as the green flag waves and the hammers drop. Here comes Nick Walters, Josh Morgan. Wildway Pearson went down the inside of the 83 car. Down below the white line, contact. Down at turn number one, chaos ensues. And Dave Stevens is around. Caution flag flies. That start is not going to fly. We're going to go back and try that one more time. Wow. Hey, something else, race fans, I forgot to tell you about. Here during the feature event for the Bombers, Chargers, and Metro PCS Super Late Models, the Dealer's Choice Double Foul Restart's in effect. So if there is more than five laps left and the caution flag flies, the cars will be lined up in a running order, single file, and then as they cross that yellow stripe on the back straightaway, they will choose inside or outside of the row. What that means is the car up front picks inside or outside, the car in the number two position can go outside row number one or stay inside row number two, however they want to do it, and they get to choose inside or outside the whole way back through the field. So potentially, on a double foul restart, a car could pick up any number of positions. So that's how the dealer's choice double foul restart works. I'm sure you've seen it before. If you haven't, this will be your first time. It's always exciting, but that is in effect for the Bombers, Chargers, and Metro PCS Super Late Models here at the Boring. Well, the purse has been claimed, so if you're going to take a guess at it, hope for the best, it's too late. Back in line once again, the number 22 car. So we got to stack them back up. It's an original restart. The first start didn't go. We got no laps in the books. So complete double file restart on this, which puts Jerry Pearson down on the inside of the number 11 car, Gerald Dittman. That's going to be something, too, with the 10 car version. Jerry Dittman, the auto insurance America.com, coming out here making his debut at the Bull Ring. Starts on the outside of row number one on his first race ever. He never raced anything before this. This is his first race ever, and with the inversion, he sits on the outside of row number one. You talk about a little bit of pressure for the number 11 car. Handled it very well the first time. Here we go. The green flag waves. The hammers drop. We're off and running. Dittman out in front yet again. Wildway Pearson again below the white stripe. Three wide racing down into turn number three we go. Nick Walters, the number 22 car, out in front. Look out, Jerry Dittman way up tight against the wall. And Josh Morgan's right there. Wildway Pearson's up through there, but he made a huge pass on that start down below the white line. Not sure exactly what will happen with race officials. We'll find out later on. They'll probably be penalized some positions, I would imagine. I have no idea. We'll find out later on. But now, Wildway Pearson puts himself up front to double zero. Brent Empey falls along. Now, Empey has been good to go. 
So right now he's running in the number two spot, but it looks like he may be in command of the ship. The 96 of Pete Meyer, another fast car, is fired and trapped. Ah, funny how that works out. Josh Morgan's number 23 car, currently running his third right now, a little erratic back there. Jerry Pearson way, way, way off the pace. Something is awry with the 83 car. Something is horribly awry with the 83 car. She is always faster than that. I'm not sure what's going on right now, but Jerry Pearson is way, way off the pace. There we go. Jerry Pearson, we get her moved out to the outside of the racetrack. That's what she's been waiting for. She's going to be dodging off air. Unfortunately, Justin Griffiths, the 42 car, he's injured. Dane Stevens goes down the inside. He's able to come out and rejoin the race in the number 60 car. Jerry Pearson is a 42, and Justin Griffiths will dodge off into the pits. Right now, Wade Pearson's out in front of the double zero car. Brett Epley's currently running in second in the 54X. He looks off the racetrack. They are below the racing speed. So while Wade will maintain his position up front, the choose flag is now out. You see the lap flag and the white flag out together. That means the next time as they cross the stripe, they will choose. Wild Wade Pearson will stay down on the inside of row number one. That's a given. Empey, what's he going to do? Will Empey stay on the inside of row number two, or will he go outside row number one and try to drag race Wade through the lead? Pete Meyer is the number three car right now. Their third spot right now. He can go stay inside behind Empey, but if Empey stays inside, Meyer can go outside and pick up a position just on the restart. We'll find out. Empey stays low. Meyer goes outside. Row number one, just like that. He starts side by side, row number one, he's in front of Empey. Morgan goes outside. The two cars behind them, both Steve Borkowski and the 22 of Nick Walters stay inside, so Barbara West will go outside, and she'll pick up two spots, essentially. So the choices have been made as the drivers line up, double foul, Steelers' choice, double foul right here at the board. You'll see that again in the Charger Division, the Metro PCS Super Late Models. Side by side up front, Wild Wade Pierce and Pete Meyer, the two top guns here, are going to duke it out. A side by side duel as the green flag waves. Wade Pearson on the throttle, Pete Meyer on the throttle. Brent Empey may be the benefactor. Two cars get it. Steve Borkowski driving. Oh, holy Pokerama, what was that? A little snow plow action there. As Meyer, meanwhile, from the outside, makes the pass on Wade Pearson. The caution flag flies for Josh Morgan down here at turn number one and two. Morgan. So the 23 car will be put in the rear. The call coming down from the officials. Josh Morgan came down and tried to crowd Steve Borkowski down below and shut him. He tried to slam the door on him. Borkowski just didn't stand for it. So we go back to the last scored lap. We didn't even get a lap in that time, so we go right back to the same shoes we saw before. Wildway Pearson, Brett Empey, Pete Meyer. It'll be interesting to see if Empey goes to the outside this time on the shoes. So the choose flags are out when they cross the yellow stripe back here. You see the official raise of the yellow flag on the back straightaway at that yellow line. It'll be interesting to see if Empey decides to stay down low yet again, or maybe this time goes to the outside to stop the number 96 of Pete Meyer from going up there. Empey, nope, ha, ah, little psychological work here. You saw him on the outside, comes down the inside. Pete Meyer goes back to the outside of row number one. Just like that, Barbara West back up to the front. She'll go outside row number two. Borkowski's down there. Everybody else stayed down the inside. The 43 car says, that's fine with me. Caleb Bronson will go all the way up through the field and start outside row number three as everyone else opts to stay down on the inside of the racetrack. Josh Morgan, remember, he was at the tail of the field because of that penalty. He decides to go outside as well, so he'll go outside row number four. One, two, three, four cars behind him, potentially five if he can get in front of Nick Walters in the 22. Great decision on his part to go outside. We'll find out how it plays out for him as the green flag is setting the wave. And the hammers drop one more time. Pearson and Meyer duking it out one more time. Down into turn number one we go. The double zero the 96 still side by side. Red is running in third right now between those two front runners. Meyer tries to come down. Not enough room to work with. Wild Wade Pearson does not relent. The double zero car hard on the throttle. Short way around the racetrack. 
battles from the inside. Brent Empey looks outside. He might follow Meyer around there. We'll find out the 54 inch car. He's down on one and two. Further back, running in fourth right now, Steve Borkowski, his teammate, Barbara West in the 18 car. They're locked in a little bit of a battle. Barbara West, a little lower line on the racetrack, tries to find something to work with. Meyer made the pass, however, puts himself up to that number one spot. Wade Pearson back to number two. Brent Empey still in the number three position. the double zero car. Keith Meyer on the throttle. Not quite as quick through the corners, but he'll quickly stomp on the go pedal on the straightaway and pull away from Wild Wade Pearson. Those two cars pretty much dead even. Last time across the strike, about a four tenths of a second split. This time across the strike, a four tenths of a second split. Funny how it works out like that. Pearson though, looks like he loses a little bit of distance that time to Meyer. Further back through the field, the battle now, Josh Morgan and Barbara West. Look back to the number fifth spot. That's the battle that's taken place. Elsewhere on the racetrack, things are pretty much a done deal, but now Josh Morgan is working on the number 18 car. The battle for fifth begins to heat up. Barbara West runs a little lower line on the racetrack than normal, although that time she'll swing wide and run with Morgan. A little faster for two as well. She'll put a little distance between herself and the number 23 car. Up front, Pete Myers is now making short work of lap traffic. The number two car of Casey Hillow. She goes a lap down. Now the number 43 car, Kayla Bronson, goes a lap down. Wade Pearson also weaving through traffic. That is Brent, as is Brent Empey in the 54X car. Empey, the 54X car, the yellow car, rolls down the front straightaway, looks to the inside of the number 43. He'll make the pass right there. He'll slide up. Well, not any more positions, but further up in through the field, I should say. So Meyer flipping off the lap time straight around 19.716 lap time for Pete Meyer up front. Further back in the field, Barbara West catching up to Steve Borkowski, Josh Morgan hanging there with her too. Lap traffic not really a factor, not able to use it to their team. Josh Morgan needs to not find a way around the number 18 car, although this time Barbara West looks the inside of Borkowski. Borkowski down across the racetrack. Barbara West checks up, gives him room to work with. Borkowski stays wide. Watch the front straightaway wall. Wow. Gave up some distance there. Barbara West slides up, grabs that spot. Borkowski down the inside. There's Gordon Borkowski together yet again. The last time those two cars were close to each other, we saw the snow plow with Josh Morgan serving the part of the plow down in turn number one and two. We'll find out if he returns the favor. We continue on. Steve Borkowski. Running right ahead of the number five spot, Josh Morgan's not able to pick up anything from Barbara West. they will start to put a little bit of distance between herself and Borkowski. Barbara West, the number four running car right now. If you look at the blue number 18. Oh, trouble for Empey. Trouble for Empey there, the number 54 X car. I'm not exactly sure what happened down there. And car made an aggressive move towards the outside wall. There's nothing around. Got to be. Here we go. The front runners work through the lap traffic yet again. Three laps of distance up to go, going to be two for Pete Meyer running up front. Wild Wade Pearson in hot pursuit. Pearson not able to capitalize on that lap traffic and make use of it. Meyer, the number 96 car. Three feature event wins on the season looking for number four. The white flag will fly. The white flag flies. That time across the straight for Pete Meyer in the number 96. Further back through the field. The number 54 X car running a great race back here as well, but the story now with the front runner. This does not happen. He could not hang with the 96. The checkered flag waves, and Pete Meyer picks up his fourth feature event win.